Have you ever wondered if some of the most exciting scientific discoveries can be made from data stored for decades? That's what happened when NASA's Magellan spacecraft photographed Venus more than 30 years ago. At the time, scientists were interested in mapping the planet's surface and studying its dense atmosphere, but they were unaware that they were capturing something far more extraordinary. Images taken more than 30 years ago led to a sudden discovery. This groundbreaking revelation alters our understanding of Venus as well as other planets in the solar system and beyond. Secret Active Volcanoes Because of its size and makeup, Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is frequently referred to as Earth's evil twin. However, whereas Earth is a haven for life, Venus is a world of extremes with a diameter of around 7,521 miles. Venus is nearly the same size as Earth, but it is much closer to the Sun than our home planet, at a distance of 67 million miles on average, or about one-eighth as close. Because of this proximity, Venus has a much hotter atmosphere than Earth, with surface temperatures that can reach 880 degrees Fahrenheit, making it the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is much closer to the Sun. Certainly. A greenhouse effect occurs when certain gases in a planet's atmosphere trap heat from the planet's surface and prevent it from escaping into space. This process is similar to what happens in a greenhouse, where glass walls trap heat inside and help keep the temperature warmer than the surrounding air. Venus's atmosphere is mainly composed of carbon dioxide, CO2, with a small amount of nitrogen, N2, and other trace gases. CO2 is a greenhouse gas, which means it absorbs and emits heat radiation in the form of infrared energy. This infrared radiation warms up the atmosphere, which in turn warms up the planet's surface. The thick layer of CO2 in Venus's atmosphere creates an extreme greenhouse effect that causes the planet's temperature to soar to a scorching 864 degrees Fahrenheit, 462 degrees Celsius. This makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is much closer to the Sun. In addition to CO2, Venus's atmosphere also contains sulfuric acid, H2SO4, clouds that reflect some of the sunlight back into space, which helps to regulate the amount of heat that is absorbed by the planet. However, the greenhouse effect is still so strong that it overwhelms this cooling effect, resulting in the extremely high temperatures on the planet. Overall, the combination of Venus's thick atmosphere, predominantly composed of CO2, and its proximity to the Sun make it a prime example of the greenhouse effect in action. Despite the planet's terrible environment, the thick sulfuric acid clouds that cover it also contribute to its high heating. Venus has long fascinated scientists who have tried to learn about its peculiar features and comprehend its history. Over the years, researchers have made many discoveries about Venus, including the fact that it is the only planet in our solar system that rotates clockwise on its axis. Additionally, the atmosphere of Venus is dominated by the rapid rotation of the cloud layer, which rotates much faster than the planet itself. This zone rotates in just four Earth days while the planet itself rotates in a period of about 4.6 days. For Venus, this means that the planet and its atmosphere rotate in the opposite direction to that of the Sun and most other planets in the solar system. This natural convectional motion, known as super-rotation, starts at about 6 miles and steadily increases up to 40 miles where the equatorial winds reach a terrifying speed of 335 miles per hour before gradually slowing down. Venus' atmosphere, or at least its top layer of clouds, appear to revolve around 50 times more quickly than the planet itself, and this amazing phenomena is likely what causes the planet to rotate, but there's a catch. Although Venus is extremely hot and has harsh environmental conditions, the temperature on the planet's surface is nearly constant and uniform because of the winds that sweep across its surface and ensure that heat spreads evenly. However, the mass of Venus's atmosphere is only one ten-thousandth of the planet's mass, so how could that be? There must have been an exchange of velocities between the planet and the atmosphere to conserve total kinetic energy, but the mystery remains unsolved. 
The weight of Venus' atmosphere is more than 100 times greater than that of Earth's, and due to its enormous mass and high thermal inertia, the planet's surface temperature is uniform, which is comparable to the temperature of the oceans on Earth. Despite the fact that there is almost no wind at the planet's surface, with winds that are stronger at the equator and weaker towards the poles creating a visible V-shaped structure, Venus' atmosphere has a density that is about one-tenth that of water. This, combined with the atmosphere's corrosive composition, is what causes a level of erosion comparable to a river. However, much of Venus's prehistory remains a mystery. For example, although it's known that the planet formed about 4.5 billion years ago, it's unclear how it evolved to become the hot, hostile world we know today. Some scientists speculate the volcanic activity may have played a significant role in the shaping of the planet's environment, with eruptions releasing gases that contributed to the dense atmosphere we see today. Over the years, scientists have made many observations of Venus from both Earth and spacecraft. Some of the earliest recorded observations date back to ancient times when astronomers such as the Greek philosopher Pythagoras and the Roman poet Ovid documented their observations of Venus in the night sky. However, it wasn't until the 20th century that scientists were able to study Venus in more detail. In 1961, the Soviet Union launched the first spacecraft to visit Venus called Venera 1. Although the spacecraft could not successfully land on Venus, it provided valuable data on the planet's magnetic field and radiation environment. Subsequent missions, including the Soviet Union's Venera and Vega missions and the U.S. Mariner and Magellan missions, provided even more detailed data on Venus. Despite these successes, however, the study of Venus has proven to be a major challenge for scientists. The planet's hostile environment and dense atmosphere make it impossible to observe its surface and for spacecraft to last for extended periods of time. After safely landing on Venus in 1982, the Soviet Union's Venera 13 landing module barely survived for roughly two hours before succumbing to extreme heat and pressure. In 1990, the NASA Magellan spacecraft reached Venus and spent four years mapping the planet's surface with radar. A spacecraft collected an enormous amount of data, including detailed images of the planet's surface and data on its topography, gravity, and magnetic fields. Only more than 30 years later, in 2021, scientists made an incredible discovery when they reanalyzed the data collected by Magellan, the presence of active volcanoes on Venus. The discovery was made by a team of researchers led by Anna Gilcher of the Institute of Geophysics at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. The researchers analyzed Magellan radar data and identified features on the surface of Venus that suggested the presence of recent volcanic activity. The team also examined images taken by the spacecraft and found evidence of lava flows and other volcanic features. But how did scientists determine the presence of active volcanoes on Venus from data collected more than 30 years ago? One key factor was the use of new imaging techniques and algorithms that allowed researchers to extract more detailed information from the data collected by Magellan. By analyzing radar data, the researchers were able to identify changes on the surface of Venus that were probably caused by volcanic activity. They also found evidence of elevated surface temperatures in the same locations, further supporting the idea that there are active volcanoes on the planet. Moreover, quite recently in March of this year, scientist Robert R. Herrick of the Geophysical Institute University of Alaska Fairbanks and Scott Hensley of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory California Institute of Technology conducted a similar study. In an article in Science, they discussed how volcanic activity on Venus has been obscured by the lack of observable eruptions. However, the authors used images from the same Magellan spacecraft to study volcanic areas on Venus. Thanks to images taken between 1990 and 1992, in regions that had previously been classified as likely showing signs of active volcanism, a manual search was done. The authors looked for cone-like volcanic formations. They utilized a method known as stereo radar grammetry to produce a comprehensive topographic map of vents and lava flows that had formed or changed between photographs. 
They also made the images appear as though they had been taken right over the observation object using a method known as orthogonal transformation. The paper also describes a direct simulation distant view of images of the appearance of surface objects at different viewing geometries, which were then compared with similar versions of the images. As a result, they discovered that the vent of a volcano in the Atlas Regio region changed dramatically in less than a year, doubling in size, becoming deformed, and filling the edge with a lake of lava eight months later. This discovery may offer insight into the evolution of volcanoes. One major implication of the recent discovery of active volcanoes on Venus is that it challenges the common perception of Venus as a geologically dead planet. The presence of active volcanoes indicates that Venus is still geologically active, which creates new opportunities for studying the formation and evolution of the surface of rocky planets. The possibility of finding microbial life on Venus is another potential result of the discovery of active volcanoes. On Earth, volcanic activity is frequently linked to the presence of microbial life, and it is possible that this is also the case on Venus. Despite the harsh conditions on Venus, where the temperature is high enough to melt lead and the atmosphere is dense with carbon dioxide, it is possible that microbial life may have evolved to survive in the harsh conditions of Venus. Despite its extremely hot and acidic environment, scientists have found evidence that suggests that Venus may have had a habitable environment in the past. Recent studies have indeed suggested that Venus is still volcanically active. In 2020, a study published in the journal Nature Geoscience used data from the European Space Agency's Venus Express spacecraft to study the planet's surface. The researchers found evidence of geological activity, including active volcanoes and lava flows. The study identified several areas on the planet's surface where volcanic activity appears to be ongoing. One of the most significant findings was a massive volcanic structure called Ganiki Chasma, which is about the size of the state of Missouri in the United States. The researchers found evidence that this structure is relatively young, suggesting that it may have formed as recently as a few hundred thousand years ago. This has sparked renewed interest among planetary scientists, and several upcoming missions to Venus are planned to study the planet in more detail. One such mission is the Veritas mission, which is set to launch in 2026. This mission will use a specialized radar to map the surface of Venus and study its geology, including its active volcanoes. The data collected by Veritas will provide valuable insights into the geological processes that shape Venus and may help scientists better understand the planet's habitability. Another mission, called Da Vinci Plus, is also planned to launch in the late 2020s. This mission will send a probe into the atmosphere of Venus to study its composition and determine whether the planet has ever had an ocean in the past. The data collected by Da Vinci Plus could provide clues as to whether Venus may have ever had a habitable environment for microbial life to evolve. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is in charge of the Veritas project, which will launch within 10 years and examine Venus from its surface to its core to learn how a rocky planet the size of Earth chose an altogether different course. Modern synthetic aperture radar and a near-infrared spectrometer will be used by the Veritas mission to build three-dimensional global maps and analyze the surface composition, respectively. Additionally, the spacecraft will measure the planet's gravitational field to ascertain Venus's interior structure. On the other hand, the Da Vinci Plus mission is an addition to the Veritas mission. The Veritas orbiter will orbit Venus and collect data from above while NASA plans to launch the Da Vinci Descending Sphere to study Venus's atmosphere and geology. The Descending Sphere will descend through Venus's atmosphere to measure its composition as well as study clouds, winds, and surface features. The sphere will also take high-resolution images of Venus's surface as it descends, providing important information about the planet's geology and geophysics. Unfortunately, there haven't been many missions to Venus in the last 30 years. In fact, funding for planetary exploration has been cut, and new missions won't launch until the 2030s. Despite this, with each new discovery, we get closer to understanding the processes that shaped our own planet Earth.
In addition, because many exoplanets outside of our solar system are similar to Venus, studying this planet can help us learn more about these other planets. It is important to note that tools for processing and comparing large amounts of data were not available until recently, which provides a huge field for anyone interested in astronomy or planetary science. The recent discovery of active volcanoes on Venus is a fascinating development in the field of planetary science, and it highlights the importance of careful analysis of existing data. In this case, the discovery was made using data from the European Space Agency's Venus Express mission, which orbited Venus between 2006 and 2014. The Venus Express mission gathered an enormous amount of data about Venus, including detailed information about its atmosphere, surface features, and geological activity. However, analyzing this data is a complex and time-consuming process, requiring a significant amount of expertise and computational resources. In the case of the recent discovery of active volcanoes on Venus, scientists had to carefully comb through years' worth of data to identify signs of volcanic activity. This involved looking for subtle changes in the temperature and chemical composition of the planet's atmosphere, as well as studying the topography of its surface features. The discovery of active volcanoes on Venus is just one example of the potential insights that can be gained from carefully analyzing large amounts of old data. In many cases, data that has been collected in the past can be re-examined using new techniques or technologies, leading to new discoveries and insights. This underscores the importance of preserving and curating scientific data for future generations to analyze and interpret. Overall, the recent discovery of active volcanoes on Venus highlights the complexity and importance of analyzing large amounts of data in order to gain a deeper understanding of our solar system and the universe as a whole. It also underscores the value of ongoing scientific exploration and discovery, even when it involves analyzing data that was collected years or even decades ago.